Hi there. Welcome back to your virtual field trip here at the Ken Sealing Waterloo Region Museum. We'd like you to think about what life was like about 100 to 200 years ago here in the region of Waterloo and across Canada. And we're back in our blacksmith shop because we'd like to talk about the world of work and what it was like to have a job back then. So we're going to show you a story of what life might have been like for somebody, what kind of jobs they might have done, what those jobs were like, how someone might find a job, and how someone might lose a job back then. First job I got was in a blacksmith shop. Now I started off there doing simple tasks for the blacksmith, like helping out around the shop, cleaning up after the horses, getting things ready for the blacksmith when he came in to do his work. Eventually I learned some of the metalwork, like shoeing horses, fixing carriages, carts, and wagons. But the blacksmith wanted his son to have a job there, and he couldn't pay for the both of us, so he had to let me go. The next job I got was at our local meat market. There I had to cut and butcher meat, I had to prepare orders for customers, I had to smoke, salt, and pickle meat for preservation, and keep the shop clean and presentable. Now back then, people could fire you for whatever reason. And when I told my employer one day that my family had moved to Canada from Ireland, he wasn't so friendly anymore, and a couple days later he let me go. There wasn't much I could do about it, but that's how things went back then. After that, I worked in a harness shop. Most of the work there was cleaning people's harnesses and doing light repair work, as well as general retail, selling things that people needed on their farms for their horses and for their livestock. Sometimes I'd have to replace a part of a harness. Sometimes I would just have to do a quick cleanup job. But I didn't like how much dye I kept getting on my hands, and I didn't really like the job, so I tried to look for something better. After that, I worked in our general store. A lot of the work that I had to do there was helping the customers, receiving deliveries, keeping the shop nice and clean, being presentable, and always being a friendly face. I would put orders together for people, process their payment, and always try to be of service. I was trying to save up money to one day open up my own shop, and I did pretty well, and then I had a bit of luck come my way. Just as I was looking to open up my own business, the town wanted to open up a new post office, and I applied for the position as postmaster for our town. I was lucky enough to get it, and after a bit of training to learn the ins and outs of the postal business, I was able to open up our new post office. Most of my job involves making sure that the mail gets to who it's going to, that things are paid for properly, that things are weighed, safely delivered, and that all regulations are followed. It's good work and I think it's going to last. We wrote that story to give you an idea of what someone's career might be like back in that time period. But a lot of the things they talked about in those stories could and did happen to people back then. Now I'd invite you to think about the kind of jobs that are available nowadays. You could take a look online to see job banks, job descriptions, and job postings to see the kind of jobs that are available, what goes into the training for them, and what their daily lives would be like for people in those jobs. Maybe you could also try to write your own job description for your dream job and see if that's the kind of thing that you might be able to do one day. So thanks very much for joining us today on your virtual field trip here at the Ken Sealing Waterloo Region Museum. We hope to see you again soon. Have a great day.